I became tired of religion. I became tired of church. Not in a negative way. I read my Bible and as I listened to preachers, I was disturbed because what I read was not what I was seeing. I left church confused. Where is the grace that produces the miracles? Why do we have to keep explaining and explaining and prophesying and nothing happens to the people? We say, God bless you. They return with no testimony. God lift you and they return with no testimony. I speak that your life will change and they return with no testimony. It frustrated me. I asked many pastors questions and they could not answer. Some said I didn't have faith. I believed I did. You see, one of the ways the anointing of your destiny calls you is through dissatisfaction. You begin to sense that I, I may not know what the problem is, but I know something must be wrong. This cannot be it. And that hunger drove me to search scripture. I will never forget the day I placed my hand on the book we call God's Generals. When I opened it, it was as if I was reading about my brothers. Literally. When I read, I said, this is it. The Bible says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Don when got it well. Though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. We may be few, but there is an army of hungry and angry men saying this cannot be the way it should be. The way we beg people to come to church is a sign that something is wrong. Because the Bible says all nations will flow. The way we go ask and plead and say just be patient. The house of God? No. And so my hunger began to rise to the heavens and I cried I said Lord there has to be more this is not you this does not look like you where is your power and your glory where is the wisdom why is it so hard to save sinners you waste your time and talk for hours and at the end of your conversation they say I will think about it my God what were you saying then he said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power, not the suggestion of God. There is an ability upon it that compels the listener. To the point that believers are used to the word not working. It shows by our testimonies. We didn't expect it to work. We are surprised it worked. And I said, Lord, you must reveal yourself to me. I cannot tell a generation lies. There has to be a dimension of God that we must reveal. We are the preservers. This baton has been passed to us and we cannot fail. Listen to me. The hunger of days became weeks. Weeks became months. Can I tell you the truth? God loves you, but his presence encounters are not cheap. It will take hunger that is greater than your desire for anything to really find God. We, we have a, a generation that cheapens encounters as if they just happen. No, nothing of value comes cheap. He allows your hunger to stretch you. One night, here is my sermon tonight. My hunger had reached the heavens. I knew if he did not come, I may die and there he walked into my room the king of kings himself my hunger had gotten to the heavens I was not interested in church fame I didn't want ministry I wanted an encounter something I could live and die for I was tired of saying things I was not sure of preaching something you go back and say I hope I'm right no that which we have seen 
that which we have heard that which our hands have handled of the word of life it says but i know whom i have believed i'm not trying to guess i am persuaded when the lord jesus appeared to me there's something about the strings and the spirit of prophecy it says i will reveal my sayings upon the harp now my hunger had gotten to the heavens and when jesus came now please look up the strange thing pastor when i saw jesus i knew respectfully that many people represented representing him did not know him i was in shock this was the man i'd been preaching about jesus the son of the living god any part of him was what you're looking forever you know you cannot look at a human being forever if i look at your legs after a few minutes i'm tired i find something else to look at not jesus brilliance i told you yesterday he never spoke a word but he said many things that was when i learned that the language of god is not english it's not hebrew it's not latin the language of god is light he does not have to talk to speak his light is a voice it speaks to you did the bible not say the entrance of thy word give it light and he stretched forth his hands towards me when he stretched forth his hands towards me the kind of light that came from his hand I stand before God Kenya how I did not die is something I will ask him when we meet him in glory no man can receive that level of light and be alive and everything entered me and then he left I don't know how he left but he left and my life changed I picked up my Bible and there was a straight line from Genesis to Revelation I saw things I never studied I understood what Paul said how by revelation the mystery was made known unto me please listen very carefully there is a reason why I say what I say in one other encounter the Lord appeared to me and said son from today I give you my presence as a gift and then I saw this angel standing before me and he said this angel will walk with you and I said what is his name and he said he is called the angel of the Lord's presence wow this angel that's what is responsible for the miracles and the signs the wonders the impartations and then in one other encounter the Lord gave me an instruction he said every city and every territory and every nation I send you to there must be people in that meeting that the light that came from me to you must you cannot leave that nation and that territory until some of those people please help them Hey, Lord, 